YouTube! Welcome back to another deck profile. I just won locals with the best deck. It's Pendulum, baby! Let's go! Etc. Insert Triff montage music now. Um, very pog. We went 4 out locals. We beat Drytron. We beat Ignister. We beat Tri-Brigade. And we beat Prankids. So it's not like we played against uh, anything bad or anything. So that's cool. Um, yeah, very, very pog. Uh, let's get into the list. So... As with every Inde pure Endemian decklist, we gotta play the one Servant. She's my girl. I did open her in an abnormal amount of times today. It's just how it is. If you got the gifts, you got the gifts. You know me. Next, we got the three big dandy Endemian. Gotta play him. Popping Fields is pretty good, especially against these mid-range decks. The mid-range decks is pretty good against. And the fact that it can't be destroyed by card effects is very, very good also. Next, we have three Magister of Endemian. I am still playing this card. This card is so, so good. Summon from the extra deck. On field effects, also just insane. Remove three counters, summon a monster from deck. Very, very strong card also. Next, we got three copies of Reflection on summon. Bounces a... Sorry, it's, it's Servant, but from the uh, hand. So it's a nice little extend. It's like a chronograph. And it also on summon lets you bounce a card you control with a spell counter and a card your opponent controls on summon. And then also, if she is destroyed by battle with a spell counter, you can add in any Endemian card from deck hand, which can come up. She's also level seven, which is the main reason why we play her, because you make absolute, uh, you make absolute dragon with her. That's pretty cool. So that's it. That's the uh, the ten Endemian monsters we play. Um, let's put this aside. Next, we got the mythical beast portion of the deck. So we've got the three master Cerberus, the three Jackal Kings. The one Garuda and the one Jackal, the baby one. We're not playing Bachelors. Uh, I don't think that card's particularly great. Um, Master Server's very, very strong card, especially with uh, Institution. Just being able to get a bunch of spell counters. And also, going second, this card's crazy. If you can bring it out with Jackal King, you can just banish a monster. And also, once again, the part where it can't be destroyed by card effects can come up against something like Prank It. And then Jackal King, obviously, scale effect very good. Summons a Mythical Beast from the extract, but on field is a monster negate. Garuda is an MST in the scale, or on field is, or in hand, is a hand trap. It's like a compulse, which is very, very strong. Uh, and then we got Baby Jackal, which is like a lone fire blossom that's not once per turn. It's very, very good. And its scale effect is just putting a spell count on something. Very nice. And then for the non, the last three monsters of the deck, I'm playing two of the Magistus and Demian monster and one of the Blue Boy. So Blue Boy, this is here for the Spellbook engine. We don't really have to... Uh, mentioned that but this card for those that don't know its effect is uh you can target a monster you control a magistus monster you control and you can equip it with a magistus monster from your extra deck which it would be our artemis and then it has a second effect where you can target a spell you control destroy it and then you draw a card and then you put a card on the bottom of the deck the combo with this is that you go endemian equip artemis artemis grabs you another endemian in hand and then Artemis, uh, the Endemian can pop the Artemis on your field to then draw a card and put something on the bottom. But the cool thing about this is it's 2 level 4, so you can make Dweller. Originally, you can make Bahamut Shark 2 with this, but you can just make Dweller instead. Dwellers are a lot better than Bahamut Shark anyway. So that's all the monsters we played. Into the spells, quite a lot of them. We've got three of the spell power mastery. Best card in the deck. Absolutely nutter butters. Gets all of your plays going. Gets all, you just, gets all the spell counters. It's just crazy. This is all, it's all crazy. Uh, then we have three of the Mythical Institution. Once again, gets a bunch of counters. And it's also just a Rota for any of your spell counter related needs. Very, very good card. Next, we got three copies of Desires. Drawing two is a very, very good. Um, so yeah, we, we like to draw cards. Uh, and then for field spells, we got one of the Mythical Institution, the Magical Citadel. And then for my spicy tech, we played Zombie World um, alongside of it. Because Zombie World hits a lot of decks this format, specifically Salamangrate, that deck can't play in the zombie world, so that's pretty cool. Uh, apart from Foxy, obviously, but you just have other means to deal with the Foxy. And then we have Terraforming, because um, it's free spell counters, etc. This is here for the free spell counters also, which is nice. But the zombie world is just a nice little tech option. You should play Secret Village, by the way. I just didn't have a Secret Village, so I just played this instead. You can also play Necrovile, you can play Mystic Mind. There's a lot of field spells you can play that just don't really affect you that much. All of them are perfectly fine. And then we have the Spellbook part, so we have the two secrets and the one knowledge i'd almost be tempted to play another copy of knowledge to be perfectly honest knowledge is just very good uh, and then uh we have upstart and call by the grave because droll lockbird sucks and upstart goblin once again um spell counters and then newly off the list we got the striker package baby the striker package by the way so we got multi roll drones and engage these sucked don't play these it's it's such a waste it's such a waste don't play these but they're really funny 
So if you're into comedy, then play them, I guess. Into the extra deck, we got Artemis. We got Gravity Controller. This comes up for linking off your... So if you have, like, an Absolute Dragon in the extra deck, you can link it off for this, which is nice. But you can also link off your Master Cerberus that's in the extra deck. Um, just to free up his zone, essentially, which is really nice. So you can pen on summon something else. Yeah, that's, that's really it. Um, then we have... For Link, we also have a Kigari as well for Engage. And then we also have Zeke, so you can link off your token and your Kigari to something. And this also just banishes stuff, it can be nice. Um, then uh, we have IP. I never resolved this the entire day. Uh, we have Crowley. Never summoned it either. We got uh, two copies of Selene. Never used it. Never used the effect. Uh, we got Unicorn. Never summoned it. Apollo. Never made it. Underworld Goddess. Never made it. Access Code Talker. Never made it. Absolute Vortex. I made this once. And Dweller. Never made it. So the extract absolutely does not matter. This is really cool, by the way. This does beat Adagnister. Just lets you link off with their big dude. And also lets you do IP shenanigans. That's cool. So yeah. That was my deck. Uh, really bad. Oh, I quickly show you the side deck, I guess. Uh, so Pankratops. Uh, triple Droll. Triple Nib. Triple Radian. Uh, Harpy's Feather Duster, Thrifle Cosmic for any spell, and then reboot. Um, yeah, that's, that's really it. Extra X overrated. Um, yeah, that was the entire profile. Like, share, comment, subscribe, come in my pants, maybe, etc., etc. Uh, play Secret Village, play Necro Valley. Those cards are good. Goodbye.